One, two, one, two. I got a pocket full of hopes. Okay. Hello, Pame. Hello, Privini. Good evening. How are you? Fine. And um, well, and you? Doing great. Doing great. Just ready for the class. So, what happened to you? It was a problem with your connection or what well no exactly uh well i mm, well one day i was sick and then uh, connected for that reason but the next and uh, the next morning uh one pe one person of english corporative uh called me and say me that oh, i don't told have, me told me mm -hmm. that i don't have the in uh, enough assistance attendance to, uh -huh. attendance to continue the 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 class and I say oh well okay so just I'm going to leave leave uh -huh. leave leave and she say me yeah she but told me know, <laughs> <laughs> she told sorry the past tense, keep going keep going don't worry <laughs> um and she told me that um. I only can stay during the class, but I, the, I could I, only I could only stay in the class. I could only sit in the class, but it's not necessary that I uh, give the attendance or uh, stay in classes. Mm. And she, I said, OK. And that's how I do. <laughs> and okay. then next uh, this week, uh, another person Call me again and say me what happened. And, I and said, told me. Told me. <laughs> she told. She told me that what happened, and I told you. Told told her that story that I told you now. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And she said me that maybe it was a. Told me. <laughs> <laughs> she told me that maybe it was a, a confusion. Conf a confusion. confusion. Uh huh. Okay. Don't worry. I'm glad to have you back. I mean, <laughs> you see, you see, that, 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 that's important. I mean, uh, just one verb that you correct the usage, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. just correct the usage of that verb, whether it is told, told. or said. Mm -hmm. She said me, no. She told me. Mm -hmm. She said too many things to me. She said she, said she was bored. She said he was funny when you said when you say something about someone else then you mm -hmm. say then you use say and when when somebody tells you something directly then you use tell she uh, okay. told me he told me they told me mm -hmm. i mean so as they they and i tell her okay and i tell her i tell the teacher i told the teacher i tell i tell my mom Mm -hmm. Yeah, kids, kids use this verb a lot. I'm mm -hmm. telling, I'm telling. That, that means that we have another dedo. I'm telling. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Find out more about it. That's very useful. Okay, mm -hmm. everybody's coming. So I'm gonna start telling. I'm telling. I'm telling to the class that mm -hmm. I'm telling to the class that and everybody. Let me see. So the midterm exam has not been finished by Edwin Alexander. Let me see. Um, Carla Veronica Vasquez, we can still improve the score of the midterm exam. Uh, Carla. Yes. Pamela, I need you to do the midterm exam. Let me see. Yes. <laughs> Who else? Wendy Patricia, she's not here yet. And Wilfredo, oh my God, Wilfredo, what's going on? <laughs> okay, Wilfredo, heads up, heads up with the midterm exam. <laughs> no, Gabby, I'm not doing the attendance yet. 
But yeah, take gay heads up with with the midterm exam guys. We were supposed to finish it yesterday. Hey, the year is gone. The year is almost gone. It's November tenth. Wow, what is it? How many days for Christmas? How many days till Christmas? <laughs> My daughter is very excited about her birthday. My daughter, Julia Beatriz, is very excited <laughs> about her birthday. So she every morning she wakes up and goes to the calendar. And we have a little board, a whiteboard next to the calendar. And she's counting down the days. We're missing 98 days. Okay, so 98 minus one. We're missing 97 days. Every morning is the first thing she does. It's crazy. Um, so from today until, what is it? December 24th of this year, we are missing 44 days till Christmas. 44 days till Christmas. How about December 31st? We're missing 51 days, people. 51 days. Wow. Okay. So continuing attacking our main area of improvement, I will make you a question so you can practice really quick. <laughs> In just a minute, I will do the attendance first, but the question will be, what did, no, 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 no. You know what? Too many what's. Tell me about your most memorable Christmas. And, um, or I'm gonna leave it open, or New Year's. New Year's, New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think that's what you said, New Year's Eve. Tell me about your most memorable, oh, I ate the, the R, sorry, I missed the R. Tell me about your most memorable Christmas or New Year's Eve. So think about the answer to that question. This thing is in French. Yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna do the attendance really quick so we can practice with this question. Start thinking, okay? Be creative. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Welcome. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Edwin Alexander. Ayala Erazo. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Hey, good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Okay. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Excellent. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Not yet. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And there she is. There she comes. Wendy, Patricia, Roselena is here too, and Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Excellent. So tell me about your most memorable Christmas or New Year's Eve. So how do you say tizón in English? What? <laughs> How do you say tison in English? You know what is a tison, right? I don't know, teacher. Uh-huh. <laughs> I 
OK. This is weird. I didn't know. OK. Será que no estoy ocupando? I'm not, no, no, I'm not using the right word, right? I'm not using the right word because the word tizón mm, may not be referring to what I mean. Charcoal, teacher. Charcoal is carbón. Mm -hmm. What about pathon? Hold on. Fathom. Fathom. That could be the most approximate translation of tizón. Brasa, right? So it's a piece of burning charcoal. It's a piece of burning char charcoal, as, as Wilfro said, that could be it. Why am I talking about this? It's just that my most memorable Christmas was in the 90s. My grandma used to um, make tortillas at, ho at home and we used to deliver them. But what was very interesting was the nights, you know. In my childhood, the nights were amazing because my grandma used to finish doing tortillas. And then as she was preparing our dinner, she used to make us sing because my grandma, um, was raised in, um, how do you say orphanato in English? An hospice? No. Orphanate. Orphanate, what? Orphanate. Orphanate, something like that, right? Hold on, no, there's another word. There's gotta be another word for that. Orphanage? Yeah, orphanage. Orphanage, you're right, yeah. It's a, a shelter for homeless kids. A shelter, yeah. Orphanage. Orphanage. So she was raised on an orphanage with nuns. The nuns used to make her sing, and she was part of the chorus. So she had a beautiful voice. And my brother and I, uh, we, we, we used to sing as kids, you know, Pedro Infantes, music, things like that. It was very interesting because if you didn't, reach the right tone she used to get upset no 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 not like that higher higher we were like okay <laughs> but it was so lovely and in the end why do i remember about the tison about the what did i say what's the name how do you say brasa in english the fatum the fatum right is because I remember, I don't know why, but I remember very well that one Christmas, it, it, I think that was the first Christmas we bought, we bought um, fireworks. It was the first Christmas we, 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 we bought fireworks and everybody was at home. So I remember that she lent us a pattern, okay? And we put it on the entrance of the house and we were bursting fireworks uh, on the um, um, right outside the house, you know, on the aisle. And I used to live in Santa Ana in, in Colonia del Palmar. So it was amazing. I mean, it was a great experience. And it's, I, I guess it was my first Christmas with fireworks. And that's why I, I have it so present. So that was my most memorable Christmas. What about you? Okay, and that's what I was expecting. Nobody wants to talk here. So I'm gonna split you in a few groups, you know, and you have to tell uh, the most memorable Christmas to your classmates. Remember that we are practicing simple past, simple past, everything in simple past. What is today's topic? We have to talk about verbs followed by infinitives. And I have prepared some activities for you to practice this grammar context content. And also we have to talk about CSR, which is corporate social responsibility, corporate social responsibility, but we're gonna do it fun. So let's start to warm up. I'm gonna send you, um, well, I already sent you the question here in Zoom. Let's go in small groups to practice. The question is a simple question. 
Sample pass. Tell me about your most memorable Christmas or New Year's Eve. Okay, let's go. It was what was your most memorable? Memorable, yeah, memorable. Christmas, Christmas or year or New Year Eve. Um, well, I think it's when we we are a child. Uh, I think that uh, every Christmas is memorable. Memorable. Because it's the the significant uh it's also better than than when you are you are an adult. For example, to me, uh my Christmas when I was a child, uh it was in the my uh, one of my aunt house. And well, I have two brothers, so uh, we is we were in the in the yeah. house with uh, my old my my old members family my family members, and the funny thing was that we um have a good and a good a good place together um i don't know if that kind of things and also the uh fireworks that's one of the most uh things that i remember i really don't 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 direct directly it was my dad my dad it, it is it, it was it is my dad is always the peop the person that uh, did it um, the about the fire flag fireworks and one other thing. Not only that, it, I think only the occasion and the significance of the re the gift. It's something important and memorable when you was a child. You were a child. Well, in my case, um, I would say that my my last memorable memorable Christmas was um, last year because now this year my mother, uh, my grandma has passed away around July. And I remember her <laughs> the last Christmas because we were like, um, you know, my grandma and me at 12 in the noon. And well, in, in this case, my family um, was sleeping, my father and my mother, and I was alone outside. So she was the only one that was with me that Christmas. And she was like, okay, we are going to spend, this, you know, time together. And I was like, yeah, but I, but I, I felt so, you know, like sad about it. And we cried together. <laughs> so that's the last Christmas that I remember with her and I really liked it. Um, I, I can feel like, you know, this Christmas she will be with me because of that, because she was always giving me. Uh, so a boy, how do you say that? She will be supporting me. Support. She was always supporting me. She was very supportive. 
Yeah. So that that's my my most memorable yeah, Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. We 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 stay with my uncle in Guatemala and I was like 19 and I um how do you say uh firework explode on my hand and uh -huh. imagine I was grow I I was 19 <laughs> and a firework explode on my on my hand it was very uh, oh my god it hurt me it hurt me so much but mm. I was I cried for a moment but then I forget it <laughs> and continue continue with my cousins uh, enjoying enjoying yeah. the, the moment the, the, the this moment was a very exciting in, in this time. also they took me a picture I have a picture and I remember that moment oh I, in this moment I do it oh my god it's so <laughs> It's so funny, <laughs> but with your hand all blooded and everything. Yeah, no. And my you were finger, like, yeah. my, finger, my finger was blow it. They took a picture of me. Ah, yeah, they took a picture of me. To yeah. to don't forget that. Remember, I got a picture of you. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. And they put me a how do you say a band a bandit. No, bandage, yeah, bandage. bandage, yeah, bandage, bandage. Yeah, they put me a bandage, but I continue, I continue enjoying. <laughs> it's the better you... part of the the Christmas. <laughs> yes, yes. And you, Gloria? Okay, my my most uh, complicated Christmas um was my daughter. I uh, born on December twenty two, and I I have um, to be local uh, in my room, but um, she and I, um, o sea, por los cuetes tenía uh, uh, I cómo se diría? Yo salí el 24 de diciembre. I and you went hospital. out. Yeah, ah. you went you went out to the hospital. Yeah. You went out, yes. Uh, and uh encerrarme en el cuarto no. You close you close the door of your of your of the room and you yeah. inside. My, my daughter uh, was uh, one day. <laughs> okay. But um, for you, it's memorable. This. Yes. Yes. Really? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. And you, Wilfredo? Mm, I, have, I have two memor memorable Christmas. Um, 2016, I went to United United States, and I I called so to my mom after 26 years. I saw her again. Then we we enjoyed. The first Christmas, as uh, many years ago, um, and we we um, estuvimos. We were mm -hmm. we were together with my sister and and she and another family and another 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 memorable Christmas. It was last. Cohetes. Yes, it's, it's fun. It's too fun. Yeah, but but when 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 my father, my no, my brother 
store is watch. What you do is our shine. But it's very, very in fun. Yes, it's that. It's How do you say reventar cohetes? Burst eh, fireworks. Burst fireworks. Eh, I never burst fireworks. Eh, maybe eh, fireworks Chinese. No sé. ¿Tú dices chinas, dicho? Chinese fireworks. De Bengala, la de Bengala. Yeah, Chinese fireworks. Uh -huh. I never born. Maybe it's very it's very expensive, but I remember that when I I was a child, I I could solve the the uh, firewall of Chinese maybe uh, that the how do you say alcalde teacher? The major, ah, uh, the, the, the major. major in the house, the major, uh, board the Chinese uh, uh, firewalls. The el alcalde Mena, the mayor Mena, <laughs> all years. And I remember that when was a, a child, I can see because my, my, I, I. My mother live in near to the cemetery. Cemetery near and the near the cemetery. Ah, uh, near the cemetery and the other in the other uh, ne next to cement cemetery. Uh, the major live was a house. And uh, all, all years, uh, he burns the firewall Chinese. And I remember that when I when was a child, I, I liked the firewall. <laughs> but never burn firewalls Chinese, <laughs> never. Okay, okay, okay. We're almost back. Well, let, let's start talking. Um, I don't know, Kenya, Edwin, Gabriela. Edwin, what are you have you always lived here in Mexicanos? Yes, I have been for, for my whole life. Really? Yeah, I, I'm familiar to this area for my life. Actually, uh, I remember that the here in Residencia Granada, uh because uh, I was selling to my uh, to my classmates. group uh, to my classmates. The uh, I'm the elders from of of five brothers. So me and my brothers we used to buy silvadores. So <laughs> one day we throw a silvador in a in a it was a, a little mountain here in the Residencia Granada, and then uh, we, we throw like two or three. And then the, 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 the whole mountain started burning and, the, and there was a house up, the, uh, up. And we were like very worried because like, you know what, uh, the, the, fire, the, the, the fire was growing and, and we were like, oh my God. It was and, spreading, it was spreading. Yeah. So the, we would, the first thing that we, the, we, the, we thought that we need to do, it's like uh, getting a, a cantaro with water 
and <laughs> we start throwing water, but nothing can stop the fire. Nothing so could. Was, could. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I would could stop the fire. So someone, I don't know, maybe a neighbor, uh, a neighbor called the the the, the firework, the fireman, the fire, the fire, uh, the fireman, fire fires. Uh -huh. then, yeah, and then the the they stop the the fire. Was, they extinguished. They extinguished the the fire. It wasn't funny because yeah. at the first time it was it was funny, but then it was dangerous. And then you started you started singing, right? <laughs> you started singing. We no. didn't start the fire. It was burning. <laughs> Man, I remind you that this session is being recorded, guys. Just mm -hmm. in case PNSA watches this video, Edwin is Tomorrow, gonna start saying, wasn't me. I was I was a child. I didn't know nothing. I remember that. <laughs> really? Uh, was a fictitious his story. <laughs> no, no, really. Oh, okay. It was a fictional story. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Don't worry then. Okay. Hey, nice story, man. Wow. I think we all lived on adventures when we were kids, right? Oh my God, so many things that God saves us. You know, this it's like now when you think about it, you go like, oh my God, how how did it that happen? And I'm still alive, right? I'm alive. I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive. Selena, what do you remember from your childhood Christmas or New Year's? <clears throat> oh, I remember when my father bought bought us uh, bought us bought, bought us? The fire, bought us the fireworks. And we spent all the night with my sisters, mm. with my older sister, mm -hmm. and um, exploding. Yeah. Uh, exploding. Bursting, bursting. Bursting. Okay, bursting the, the fireworks. I remember it was very nice for me. Nowadays, I hate the fireworks. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> What? Why? No, I, don't, I don't know, but I don't like it. No, no, no more. My kids, no, no. They don't explode fireworks on Christmas because I don't like it. <laughs> it's so dangerous, teacher. Also, if I'm yeah. watching them now, I think that it's, it's, you know it's what? so dangerous. It's just that, I don't know, the quality of products. Yes has yes. changed so drastically during the last years and not just fireworks i'm, I'm talking about everything everything uh, imagine this yes. Pic picture this if i remember if you remember i told you about uh my wife winning um a contest or just uh i don't know a raffle he won a he won a raffle she won a raffle um five thousand dollars she bought some things the tv that she bought was like six hundred dollars, I think, something like that, over six hundred dollars. It's a fifty-five inches TV. And yesterday, I was watching at some, looking at some offers. I was watching a video on TikTok about some offers in the states. At Walmart, that same TV is two hundred dollars. Like, really? That made me think, you know, that products. I mean, we we are producing too much. We don't need all these products anymore, you know, it's like, and I don't know, it made me think as well that there's a lot of videos about UFOs and, and the end of the world and everything. So I thought maybe they're just giving away things, you know, because we're, we're not going to live that much. I don't know. I don't want to think about those things. Okay. But, but what made, what used to make Christmas special? In your case, was it that someone used to visit? Don't tell me. You had a family member who used to come from the United States every Christmas and, and brought big shoes for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, they feed me. They feed me. Don't worry, Uncle. Somebody? <laughs> Wilfredo, was that your case? Did you have... What was the best part of the Christmas? Okay. And we were talking with my classmates. But I told I told them that my my most memorable I, I have two. And the first one it is in night in twenty sixteen. I went to visit to my mom to the United States 
and I could spend with her my first Christmas after 26 years. And when when I saw her, I remember that it is like a, a time stop when I saw her in, a, in a April, but it was so, so, so beautiful. And another, I told them that the second most memorable mm -hmm. than uh, yes it was last christmas because my my father last year he he was uh le fue detectado teacher he was detected um how they detected what uh cancer kidney cancer cancer yes oh, in his. Wow. then my brother told me i i I didn't grow up with my 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 father, but I only I only see him. I remember three times in my life. Oh, I see. And last Christmas, you talked to no, him. No, I I I never I never oh uh, spend any any Christmas with him. Mm. But my my brother told me that we we had to we must teníamos que. We, we had to we had to uh -huh. yeah we had to spend to go to uh, spend or visit him because uh, we we didn't know what what happened or what will happen with him mm. then we went and we, we spent together um with him and his his family and his wife but it was so nice because uh, it is it is and this this moment always I am going to keep in my mind. Yeah. You see, this kind of things makes Christmas memorable. I remember we used to be visited by my only uncle. I only had one uncle. He used to visit us with my cousins, you know, over there in Santa Ana. And my grandma was very happy every time they they used to go there. I mean, it was a, yeah. we were, we were yeah. poor. We were poor. You know, he was the only one that succeeded in the family. But it was awesome. I mean, when he when they used to go there, we used to eat together. You know what I remember? Going to the neighbors, all the neighbors. It was like, hey, what's <laughs> up? Hey, do you want some chicken? And we were like, yeah. <laughs> it is good because we can spend a little, a little, uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, so big moment with a with friend, with a family, teacher. But but it is it is strange because uh, I extrañé, miss. I missed, huh? I missed uh, los cohetes. Yeah, the fireworks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And nowadays it's so silent, right? Mm -hmm. Christmas are so silent. Okay, I want to hear Adita or Walter. I don't know, Gloria. What do you remember about your Christmas girls, boys? Mm, my my case, teacher. Este, my the experience bad bad experience in the christmas if when my dad died he passed away my father my father mm -hmm. da, died died murió. he passed away huh he died uh -huh. and was it was it in christmas and no he he, he died september on september okay uh -huh. so your first christmas without your dad Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is is very triste, sad, sad shocking, sad, sad yes. Mm -hmm. But and two years later, mm -hmm. the happy Paris, the Christmas is my new field is nephew, nephew, mm -hmm. nephew, 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 um. Nació, ¿cómo se dice? Was, was born. born. Was born. Was born, yes. Yes. Um, y desde, desde ahí. Ever since? Everything is happy the holidays. Ever since, holidays are There's happier. Happier, happier. Yes. I, I totally understand what you're saying. It's just... They, there's always a an empty space, you know, and it's not easy. I I understand what you're saying. It's not easy. This Christmas is gonna be very sad for my family, but anyways, because the the party, um, 
the the, the girl that used to um, light up the party is gone. So, I mean, she left us this year. It's going to be really hard for her daughters, most of all, because every Christmas she used to go crazy. And right now, yeah, November 10th, she she had already you know decorated the house by november 10th because her christmas her birthday was on december 10th so she used to get very excited decorating everything it's, there's always one person in the family right doing those kind of crazy things i think it's a very special moment okay hey vocabulary this is a way you can explore more vocabulary you know, just go and try to find more words that could help you. Speaking um, things that you don't know, maybe. Okay. Burst, firecrackers, illuminations, rockets, sparker, sparklers. It's not easy. Sparklers, 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 Roman candles, bottle rockets, fire flowers, whistlers. Right. Whistlers are banded in El Salvador, they're banned. <laughs> we always buy them, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so let's start with the topic. Um, we need to use our book tonight to open up the um, the topic. To open the topic tonight, let me see. Let me get it. I got it here. Okay, so talking about Corporate social responsibility. This is on page 21 of your workbook. Page 21 of your workbook. There we go. Okay, so corporate social responsibility. First of all, what is that? What is corporate social responsibility? What do you understand by it? In this session, we will be able to discuss the objectives and benefits, the objectives, I'm sorry, and benefits of corporate social responsibility programs and policies. Hmm. Anybody, what do you understand by, by CSR, by corporate social responsibility? What have you heard about it? I understand. I understand. Um, I don't know if I'm like wrong. Uh, when the company um, help helps uh, or oh my god yeah. it's like a, a poster posters maybe. okay helps yeah, it's like uh -huh, help help um, a charity uh, institutions and they. I'm talking this because the company made some some of these activities. They they paint a, a place. They give a equipment for soccer, and they do some many things to the social to the oh my god yeah to the for the, the society for, for the society society. Yeah. For the society, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I understand. Yeah, you got it. You got it. I mean, there's always philanthropist people who um, yeah. try to help some way society, make it better, have a better maybe, society. Maybe maybe on a scholarship program. On yeah. a scholarship program, that yeah. could help, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That could yeah. be a good example. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what is it? everybody else come on great job Rosalina yes you got the main idea but corporate why corporate because social responsibility the government has a lot of programs there are or NGOs there are NGOs supporting social responsibility programs um, and again the government is like the main source of social responsibility programs in theory you know any state is responsible for providing the at least the minimum vitae you know for all of the um all of the habitants so when it comes to companies what does it have to do with companies
Uh huh. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> Teacher. Uh huh. We in my company just we are promote promoting. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm sorry. How do you say career in English? Career. Run. Career. Like running. Career. Uh huh. Carrera de 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 correr. Oh, a race. A race. A ra yeah. Okay. 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 Well, race. Yeah. But it is the um, the number seven. Is the seventh it, career? Is the seventh, seventh race? Seventh race mm -hmm. in Santa Ana. But the objective it is give all all money to the it's, hospital. Is to give all years. all the collected money. Is to give all collected money. Um, all the Wait, no, it's to give all the funds collected, all the funds collected to the Hospital Nacional. Hospital. What is yes. it? To the National Hospital uh, San Juan Nacional. de Dios? Yes. To Man, pe I, have, pediatric. I have so many memories of that hospital. I don't know why. <laughs> I think I, I used to visit it with my grandma and, and every time we used to go there, I used to eat something, whether it, it, it was a, an ice cream or or a sandwich, but I don't know why everything tasted delicious for me there. I was weird. Okay. So you still do that in your company? Excuse me? So do you still do that race every year? Yes. And it's on yes. Christmas? No, it is in November and... Uh, uh, sorry, uh, November 20 is going November, to be 20. November 20th. No, 20, 20th. 20, 20th. 20th. November 20th, really? Ah. Uh oh. Hold on. Okay. But it, it is so, so nice because uh, many people help um, and many people go wrong too. But it is interesting because it is a, a big a big help for the pediatric area. You reminded me of Patch Adams right now. Yeah. As long as you give happiness to the kids, that's all that matters. Okay. Social responsibility. Uh, corporate social responsibility. In, in short terms, can you see the screen? I'm sorry. Or is it all blank? I believe it's all blank, right? Okay. Let's see if we can elaborate together a definition for social, corporate social responsibility coming out of this diagram or whatever. So what do you think goes first on this chart? What do you think goes first when you want to define Corporate social responsibility. Exactly. The word. I think the word. That, uh -huh. Go I ahead. Think <laughs> the first thing. Uh -huh. I think the resources. Resources? Yeah. Resources. Mm. Resources. Hmm. Resources. Mm. Hmm. Okay. So Rosalina says this goes first. This is a cycle, okay? Let's look at this as a cycle. When you come with the idea of creating a corporate social responsibility program, resources are like the first thing, okay? Maybe we should start making a question, right? Why? the company needs or wants to have a social responsibility program. Why? Okay, remember that, and this is an advice, that's one of the main or key questions that you have to make to yourself when resolving a problem. Why, how, when, Mm. what else what right any open question 
just think about it and it will give you the solution. So the why, why? Because we must be responsible. Now, in this term of social responsibility, why is the company responsible for society? Why are companies responsible for society? No idea. Well, teacher. Yes, Wendy. Maybe, maybe because uh, the uh, force. No, yo, yo, How do you say? Ay, fuerza de trabajo. Labor job. Labor. Labor pull. Labor pull. Labor pull. Uh, the company use the labor pull uh, for a. Uh, 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 buy the product or service. And oh, in, in that case, it's the market. You're talking about the market. Uh huh. Okay, and maybe uh, the company is the one form to devolve, devolver, to give it back, give back the the opportunity, the the. Uh, how far reach maybe i don't know uh, you're, you're, the, you're, the you're getting the idea you're close okay. to the idea yes it's an opportunity for the company to give back uh-huh that's it to give back to give back because there are many ways the company could do it but first of all is a responsibility every company has with the world let me put you in context after the industrial revolution, if we think logically, after the industrial revolution, there were thousands of factories. What happened after industrial revolution? Um, there were a lot of debris, a lot of um, disposals, let's say, from the products the factories used to manufacture, right? So they were polluting the earth, they were contaminating. And one of the ways they found was to give away their earnings as well, give away their earnings with the idea of, with the idea of give a little bit of sustainability, give a little bit of sustainability to uh, the environment. Remember that is a cycle. So if I contaminate, if I pollute a place, I be based on my ethics, okay? I am responsible. My company has ethics. So we're going to make a sustainability program. All of the waste, all of the waste that we throw to the ground or whatever the way it is, we will recover it, we will recycle it. One of the first programs, social responsibility programs that emerged after the this um, period of the industrial revolution was that based, and it makes sense, right? Because if you're contaminating, if you're polluting the earth, then you have to do something to give back something to the earth. Let me give you a clear example. In the Amazons, I don't know if you have heard, but they are they're uh, cutting the trees, you know, they're killing trees. They're killing acres and acres of, of trees, uh, of the woods. So the idea is if you cut a tree, you have to plant a new one, but that didn't happen. And if it happened, nobody took care of the tree for it to grow. And now we have no trees really sad but anyways that was the idea so i do something wrong i do something good to correct my run do okay so far so good so far so good yeah okay resources and that's based on the same uh premise that i just gave you you know you use the money to invest it you know that the money will come back. 
how will your money come back? How your resources will come back? Because the market will think, hey, you know what? This company has social responsibility programs. You know, they are sincere. They are doing something good for society. They help children with scholarship, excuse me. Sorry. They help children with um, scholarships and everything, right? They are helping the neighborhood where they are to come out of poverty. They're giving jobs to nearby neighborhoods. Now, based on what I said, your goal with your social responsibility program could be a short term or a long term, but most corporate social responsibility programs are long term programs. They are not programs that will last one year. No, it's every year, every year or every month, right? Um, I don't know if you have heard of any corporate social responsibility program, um, a very popular program like the ones that has these characteristics. Techo para mi país, I think it was. What was it? I think that's that's one of them, right? And it, even though that's an NGO, that is an NGO, and that's another option that your company has. They can give money to any foundation, to any NGO, Ayuda Me Vivir, I don't know, Kids with Cancer, you know, there are many ways of helping society. And the good part, company-wise, the good part, company-wise, is that this money is not, uh, is non-taxable, it's non-taxable. So you declare these donations, the money that you give away, and instead of uh, I I don't know accountants Rosalena, Anasem is here already. Ada, uh, I don't know who, who was an accountant Gloria. Um, I have a question for you. If 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 you give a lot of donations, does that help you reducing the amount of taxes that you pay? Yes, but it helps. why? <laughs> For example, the Fundación Ayúdame a Vivir, the, uh, after close the year, uh, mm -hmm. they are give a certificate that, that all um, support, that, so economic support that you contribute during the years. This document is for that you can use, but you for you next uh, taxes declaration. Taxes, yes, taxes. Not corporation, individual taxes. Because, for example, in my in my company, there are many employees that mm -hmm. all years uh, uh, pay. Uh, say, uh, give the the contribution monthly. And finally, the judge, the Ayudan Marivir, give a, a certificate that is specific the, the each contribute, uh, this certificate is used for the next uh, taxes. Declaration of impuestos. Yeah. For each, for each employees. For their employees, oh my God, I lost it. There it is. Yeah, that, that was my question. I mean, if it really helps, but that's awesome to hear that uh, they give you um, a certificate that validates your contributions. Because in the end, you have you have to provide proof to um, the, I the IRS in the States, right? The Ministerio de Hacienda here in mm -hmm. El Salvador. Yeah, because otherwise it will be money laundry and we go back to fraudulent things, you know, and things like that. And that's the other side of the coin. That's the other side, the opposite end. Many companies use corporate social responsibility 
programs, fake programs, to do money laundry. Yes, in, in my company, um, few years ago, uh, we have a, a group for a social corporate. But in this in this case, the all employees participate in this group and organize activities for support to hospital, a children's homes. Uh, but was a was a activity that organized by the employees. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Did you throw her away? <laughs> You threw her away. It's so fun. I know, I know, I know her now. Come on, after a year watching her, she's always on you. Oh my god. She wants to be here. I think that she speaks English by now. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you're totally right. And I mean, there's a lot of programs, especially here in El Salvador, we have uh, this course, you know, it could be part of a social responsibility program, but in this case, well, let me make you the question. Do you think this is a, a CSR program? Would you consider this a CSR program? It is very nice to participate in this kind of program because it helps you that we have more empathy with another person that have uh, less um, opportunities. opportunity than we. It is less blessed than us. No, but my question is, this English for Work program, do you think it is a huh. CSR program? Would you consider it? a corporate social responsibility program. Think about it, think about your answer. I'm gonna do the attendance really quick. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Carla Veronica yeah. Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present. Good. So th this was just an introduction, guys, for a corporate social responsibility program. So again, do you consider that the National English for Work program is a corporate social responsibility program. Will it fit in this classification? And yes, teacher, I consider that that is a responsibility because it's, it's a service that we have, we receive without um, payment. Is bas by basically, how do you say, Becker? Is a scholarship? A scholarship, yes. I, I don't know why. What is the is the agreement with with Insafor and the corporate? Sorry. It's okay. Okay. Uh, but, but I I think is a similar a similar um program. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So now knowing what I have explained you, you know, what is a corporate social responsibility program? Mm -hmm. um, do you think, what What do you think guys, the rest? Kenya, Gorela, Edwin, Ada, Walter, you're so quiet. What do you think about this course? Is it a CSR program?
Uh, yes, Walter. What is the question? The question is, this English course that you're receiving, do you think, based on what I explained you guys about CSR, do you consider this English course a corporate social responsibility program? Oh, probably, yes. And, and at the beginning, the course, uh, the one month, and, uh, and the start, at the beginning, the zero. And for me, it's good. Uh, a school sheet, school mm -hmm. sheet, a scholarship, yes, scholarship mm -hmm. for me is the is good. Uh, I like to, I like to uh, study. Uh, for me, I continue, continue mm -hmm. the programs. It's very important, interesting. Mm -hmm. um, in my life <laughs> yes, good yes. good job good job okay guys uh no this course as you mentioned is a scholarship a corporate social responsibility part would be that the company contributes to insaforp well not to insaforp to el seguro social okay and that percentage goes to Insaforp. Now, this is just a contribution that by law, by law, is discounted to the employer and the employees. Now, so in that sense, you know, in a certain percentage, they are obligated, is their responsibility to pay for, for this. So it's not a corporate social responsibility program. A corporate social responsibility program will be an idea from the company to help society. So how will they do it? They could have um, ways of helping. For example, let me give you a clear example. This coming Saturday, my company, the, the call center company, has uh, a campaign to go to San Diego, to Playa San Diego, and free thousands of turtles, a lot of turtles. So it's a, that's a corporate social responsibility program. It helps the environment and all employees I in, are invited to go with the bosses, you know, with the company in the name of the company to help free these totals. Another example could be, and, and it's always, the thing is that these programs always involved the human force. You know, it's like employees are invited. Okay, guys, for example, I loved when they invited me to build a house in Habitat for Humanity. Habitat for Humanity. It was a great experience. Experience. We went to um, Komasawa, I think. No, yeah, the little town there close by Komasawa. And we built a house. It was already started, right? So we started uh, putting the roof. I remember we started like installing the roof panels and everything. And the owners of the future house were so happy when they saw us. They gave us tamales, they they gifted us limones, you know, lemons and chili, you know, different kinds of chili. I remember one of the one of the owners of the house wanted to give me a, a, a rooster, you know. They wanted me to have a rooster. I was like, no, that's not necessary. Don't worry. They were so happy because we were repairing their house with our hands and not charging anything. We were just willing to help. So these are the kind of um, corporate social responsibility programs. Of course, again, everything started, don't miss that idea. Everything started with the idea that with the premise of companies becoming responsible 
for the waste, the waste they were throwing, you know, after factories, manufacturing so many things. Okay. Bien, alguien que me diga súper rápido, ¿qué es lo que hemos hablado hasta este punto sobre programas de responsabilidad social? Exacto, muy bien. Ajá. Teacher, the, no, uh, you explain that, for example, in inglés corporativo. No, en español. Ah, ok. Bueno, por ejemplo, ahorita nos explicó que inglés corporativo no es parte de una responsabilidad social, sino que es parte de uy, una uy. obligación. No, el, el programa de, el programa nacional de inglés para el trabajo. Recuerden sí, que, sí. ajá, ajá. Sí, sí, de inglés para el trabajo no es, un, no es una responsabilidad social, es Sí, sino que es parte de un programa de una obligación patronal que se paga mes a mes cada compañía. Uh -huh. eh, Entonces, ¿qué sí. es el, el programa? El, ay, señor, eh, um, ¿qué sí. es la, los programas de responsabilidad social de las empresas? ¿Qué es eso? Eh, son como programas de ayuda que se le dan a instituciones. Muchas veces sirven, explico usted, como para para eh, no, no, como quitarse impuestos, alguna cosa así, de, porque de hecho para eso sirven. Como ese para es el incentivo, ¿no? Para las empresas. Es, ¿eh? es, es el incentivo, exacto. Como, eh, no, no es evasión tampoco, porque eso es legal, ¿verdad? Dar ese tipo de, de, ¿no? de, de ayudas. Eh, y es como... ¿Cuánto me dejaste de dinero? Una parte para ayudar un poco, pues áreas o entidades que necesitan apoyo para su funcionamiento. Exacto. Very good. Así como que si hubiesen muchos gatos en la calle, que ahí, pues, ahí se, podría, se podría crear un programa, ¿no? Responsabilidad ah. social. Sí, para sure. también es para, se decía que también era para resarcir el daño que se puede hacer al ambiente o a la contaminación. I love that word. Me encanta esa palabra en español. No sé cómo se dice en inglés. I don't know. Resarcir. Resarcir. Interesting. Totalmente. So, you got the idea, right? That's the whole idea. How do you do it? Let's go with our grammar topic tonight. We have to talk about infinitives after some verbs. Hmm. Hold your breath, hold your horses, hold your horses. Let's take it nice and easy. It's gonna be so easy for us to fall in love. You know what? I don't care. I'm gonna present this like this with the ads. It's okay. Okay, so with the same idea uh, that we had before remember we started verbs followed by gerunds now we have verbs followed by infinitives first of all what is an infinitive an infinitive is the preposition to before any verb oh my god that's an infinitive like that so verbs followed by to plus the verb uh, the, 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 how do you call this? The bare form of the verb, you know, the very base form of the verb. So how do we do this? Some verbs are followed by the two infinitive form. I decided, you cannot say I decided go home as soon as possible. I decided to go home as soon as possible. We all wanted to, Remember, you can do that. We all wanted to have more English classes. We all wanted to have more English classes. Now, there is a list of common verbs. What is important here is for you to separate the verbs. You always have to separate the verbs. Hold on, video panel, no. I don't want to hide it. I want to show it. 
Um, okay, anyways. So that's the whole key part. You know, you must separate one verb from another. So there's a common verbs list, but it's not written in rock. You can always change this. So choose, decide, expect, forget, hate, hope, intend, learn, like, love, mean, plan, prefer, remember, would like. And again, necessity verbs, remember, are followed by two. Would love to. Now, these three are verbs of saying, and you must. In these three, I will suggest you to separate them by um, an infinitive verb. So we agree to, sorry, we agree to dance all night. We agree to be here in every class. Uh, she promised to go with me. You know, if you're going to use a verb after this saying verbs, you must use two. I refuse to work on Sundays. I refuse to work on Sundays. Okay. And so on. You have so many other verbs. Teacher, how do I identify if I need to use to or ing? Again, listen to yourself. Okay. There's a whole list, but listen to yourselves. What sounds better? Okay. And this is common again. You may have a noun and the to infinitive. We will see it later as well. For now, let's keep the idea of having a verb followed by two and the next verb. Are we clear on that? It's not difficult. I'll send you a test right now to your WhatsApp so we can do it together in small groups. It's just an exercise list. It's on PDF. You may share it with your classmates on the small groups. There's not that many examples, you know, but, oh, I must do something. We must do something. So, you know what, before we continue with this topic, um, we must have a short conversation and I think we will do it after the exercise. Yeah, let's do the exercise already. So I'm going to split you. The test is on your WhatsApp. You can download it and share your screen with your classmates so we can all work together. Okay. Okay, let's do it together. El, el, el PDF. Gracias. 
Uh, someone can share the the exercise. Mm. Let me see. Ah. ¿Quién más está aquí aparte de Gaby? Por ahí escuché a... Sí, tíos. Eh, Wilfredo. Tell me. Do you understand what is what what the what do the exercise or activity? Um, I didn't listen too well to the teacher, but but I I, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to ask her for for, for I. Teacher. Hey. Ahí se los puse en el WhatsApp. So Vamos a ver. It's okay. Yes. Um, hmm. Okay. So, eh, la primera parte del ejercicio dice verse followed by infinitive. Use the verbs from the box to complete these sentences. Ahí está en su WhatsApp el, el ejercicio. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, la primera parte, exercise one, we have to use the verbs from the box to complete these sentences. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight exercises where on the blank space you need to put the verb. The teacher, no veo eso que está mencionando. Está en el Zoom, en el. Grupo de WhatsApp, es un PDF. Ah. Ah. Es Infinitive ah, Exercise ah, One. Yo estaba abriendo el link. Ajá, yo también. Esa es la explicación ajá, de la sí, presentación sí. que les estaba dando. Ay, ya, ya. Hoy sí, teacher. Vamos. <risa> teacher. <risa> sí, es tan fácil como eso. Solamente hay que seguir las instrucciones. Tienen la A y la B. Entonces, Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. okay, thank you. You're welcome. Use the verb forms, the box. Can you? Teacher, we have to read it. And if necessary, we have to we have to decide. If the verb is infinitive or is ing? No, it's just followed oh. by infinitive. Ah, okay. All, yeah. all infinitive. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I asked him several times, but he didn't bother. Answer, answer. Oh my God, answer. <laughs> so okay, he answer. didn't bother. Answer. To answer. Uh -huh. To answer my question. Oh, okay. Two. That's that's the point, the yeah. Two. To I answer. Forgot the two. Yeah. I forgot the two. No es infinitivo si no lleva la preposición Yes, two. the two. Yes, yes. What happened, Walter? Why did you move? No, excuse me. <laughs> okay, okay. 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 Okay, the number one. I asked him several times, but he didn't bother to ask answer my question. We need to use to and the verb. Answer. To answer. To answer. Uh -huh. He didn't bother to answer my question. Finally, okay. we agreed um, to, to be to on the project together. To be or, or to work or to, or to talk probably to work or to, to work, work. <laughs> there is uh -huh. a lot of possibilities to to this mm. to the for second me, one 
For me, it could be to work. Finally, we agreed to be on the project together. Mm, okay, let's see the, mm -hmm. the, the next. I demand to talk to your boss. To talk. To talk to your boss. To talk to your boss. Uh huh. Okay. Jack usually fails to arrive on time. Mm -hmm. Domestic animals show how somehow manage. Um, mm -hmm. Domestic animals somehow manage to survive the fire. The fire to survive the fire. I think. We're not planning to mm -hmm. run away the hotel planning. much longer. We're not planning to run reno, reno, reno away or renovate mm. the hotel much long, longer. We're not planning to renovate mm -hmm. the hotel much longer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you if you have any question, don't hesitate mm -hmm. to contact to contact me. To contact me. Yes. I like this word hesitate. Uh huh. Hesitate. What you just pretend then to be your friend? What you just pretending to? Yeah, it is. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> sorry, I don't see. I'm sorry, and it's the first one. Teacher. <clears throat> hey. <clears throat> sorry. Um, are we going to complete this second exercise yes. or just the first one? Okay. Do it. Yeah, do A and B. <laughs> okay. Okay. Who has a cat? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Cat lover. Okay. Okay, to use the nouns and the verbs in brackets to complete these sentences. Example, our parents are out tonight because our parents allow us to go out tonight. We okay. The first one. These glasses will enable. Will enable hair to read. Mm. Will be enable hair to read. Yeah, it needs to be yeah. something like that because it says we, us, yeah. two, mm -hmm, then the verb. Yeah. Yeah, what? That's my sense. Hair to read. <laughs> okay. Okay, the next one. Um. My uncle advised advise me to not study architecture architecture. Okay, they how do you say that, teacher? Persu persuaded. Persu persuaded. 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 Well, we continue with number three, right? Oh, our, our teacher encouraged. Es <laughs> que <laughs> oh, come on. It's time to sleep. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Our teacher encouraged um 
us to take part in the competition, right? That's right. Okay. Let let Nelson do the next one. Okay. <laughs> My teacher, you're you next. Can do the next one. Nelson, can you hear? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so our teacher encouraged. No, is it they persuaded? She not join the army. Okay. She what she teach? Oh yeah. They persuaded. Instead of she, you need to use. Um, you need to use a pronoun. <laughs> An object pronoun. Here. Here not pronoun. She not join. Okay, so what is the, the object pronoun for she? What is the object pronoun for she? It's fast. It's Kim. Hmm. Remember the object pronouns? I, me, you, you, he, him, she, her. So they persuaded her. Air, air. Not. And, and the army. Not to join the army. Mm. So again, they they persuaded her not to join the army. Uh, it is infinity. Exactly, you got it. Not to join the army. Exactly. Okay, continue, continue. Somebody else do the next one. We are training. The policeman, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, dear to help blind people. Sorry. We are training. We are training. Mm -hmm. blind, to blind. Uh, sorry. Uh, we are training to help white people. We are training. Um, no. Is them. it not them? Mm -hmm. We are training them. Ah, yeah, sorry. See, we are training them to help white people. To help them. Blind people. That's a number five. Yep. The policeman forced. Forced. Mm -hmm. The policeman forced him to the run out. Him. Him. Mm -hmm. Yes, him. To lie down. Me llama mi la muchacha envió aquí los libros que venden así de Disney para colorear. Okay. 
the other one, let's see, my mom always reminds me, right? Reminds me. My mom not my... me to not be mm -hmm. late for school. Late for school. And then the last one. The traffic. traffic. Warn, warden? Warn it. Sorry. Warn the traffic. Warden. Warn it. Mm -hmm. um, ask to not park on double yellow flag. To not park. Mm-hmm. And that's all. <laughs> Let's see. Well, mm -hmm. that will be. Do you want to practice, Nelson? Maybe we can practice just like joining the this sentence without yeah. anything there. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Did it matter too? I think this one's. Okay, so the first one. Who wants to try? Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, just say Nelson and I think he's the first one. Um, mm -hmm. the that you have what? Let's say that. Sorry, what is the sentence that I need to read? The, the oh, first one. Okay. Yeah, the first one. <laughs> These glasses will enable her to read. Yeah, that's the one. Now, the second one. My uncle advised me not to study architecture. How do you say that? Architecture. Architecture. Yeah. Architecture. Yeah, it's very complicated. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now your turn, Nelson. Our teacher. Our teacher encouraged us to take part. To take part, take part in the competition. Right. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat it? Has to take part to take part in the competition. Has to take has. Has. It's a we, it's a has. Yeah, that's right. It's asked. Uh, has our teacher take. encourage us. To take, to take part, part in, the in the competition. Right. They. They. <laughs> they hear. Hear. <laughs> they hear not to. Then hear. Then. Uh, are you practicing this one? Or another one. We we are trying to be there there to her. We are trying to be this to her. Perdón, Nelson. <laughs> I don't know which one are you practicing okay. right now. Is this this one mm -hmm. or this one or the last one? I did.
Okay, let's go straight to it. So the first exercise, you needed to use the verbs from the box to complete the sentences. So let's see. Try to use this here. So I asked him several times, but he didn't bother. Anybody? To answer my question. Exactly. Yeah. He didn't bother to answer my question. To answer, to answer. Okay, somebody else, someone else. Finally, we agreed. To work. Okay, to walk. Work. Oh, to work, okay. To work. To work on the project together. Finally, we agreed to work on the project together. Okay, somebody else, give me number three. To renovate, teacher. May you read? I demand to renovate Gracias. to your boss. Hmm. What do you think, guys? To talk. Mm, okay. I, I demand to talk to your boss. I demand to talk to your boss. Yeah, it wouldn't sound fair if you say, I demand talking to your boss. I demand talking to your boss. No, I demand to talk to your boss. So I demand to talk to your boss. Good. Next. Jack usually fails. Um, somebody else? To arrive. Okay. Jack usually fails to arrive on time. Good. Time. Time. Jack usually fails to arrive on time. Okay. Next. Domestic animals somehow manage to survive. To survive. To survive the fire. Okay, domestic animals somehow managed managed to survive the fire. Next. Hmm. To renovate. Mm -hmm. We're not planning. Go ahead, read it. We're not planning. We're not planning to renovate the hotel much longer. We are not planning to renovate the hotel much longer. True. Next. Someone else. Walter, Gloria, Wendy, Pame, Carla. Next teacher, if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me. To contact me. To contact me, okay. Mm -hmm. Don't hesitate to contact me. And last one. Was he just pretended to talk to your friend? Was she just pretending? Was she just no. pretending to be your friend? To be, to be oh, your friend. To be. Yeah. Was she just pretending to be your friend? Was she just pretending to be your friend? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now the second part was very similar. You needed to use the nouns and the verbs in brackets to complete the sentences. So, for example, or parents allowed, now, uh, nouns. Do you remember the pronouns, the, the object pronouns? So um, here, yes. if it says we, what is the object pronoun? Us. Us, or parents allowed us to go out tonight. Or parents allowed us 
allowed us allowed us allowed us to go outside to go tonight. Our parents allowed us to go tonight to go out tonight. Okay, next, uh, these glasses will enable everybody. Keep read. This is great with enable. Hit mm -hmm. read. Mm. What is the object pronoun for she? And read and read to read. <coughs> yes, you're right. It's to read. But what is the object pronoun for she? Her. She. Her. 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 Yeah. Really quick, guys. Remember, when I say object pronouns, I'm talking about I, me, you, you, he, him, her, I'm sorry, she, her, uh huh, it, it. What am I missing here? They, them, we, we. Us. Us. Is that it? Yes. Yeah, right. Okay. So if I want the object pronoun for I, I have me. You, you, he, him, she, her, it, et, oh, it, et, they, them, we, us. So let's continue. My uncle advised. My uncle advised me not to study architecture. 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 <laughs> architecture. <laughs> yeah, and this is something that I didn't teach you. It's something that I didn't tell you. Negatives, okay, negatives. But it makes sense, right? My uncle advised me not, not to study. study. It sounds very nice. It sounds very good. Advise me not to study architecture. Okay, number three, our teacher encouraged, encouraged. Us to take part. <laughs> Simple. Okay, our teacher encouraged us to take part in the competition. Competition, encouraged, encouraged. Okay, next. Yeah. Gloria, Wendy, Pame. Yeah. Okay, Hi. they persuaded. Yeah. Everybody Pers persuaded. Yeah. Persuaded. Persuaded. Yeah. Her. Not join. Not, Not join. And to the army. The army. Okay, what about two? Mm -hmm. that, eso es lo que estamos estudiando ese tú antes de el verbo para convertirlo en infinitivo ok so they persuaded her not to join the army not to join the army ok next we are training them to help us That's simple, as simple as that. Okay, there we are training them to help blind people. Okay, maybe dogs, right? Dogs, okay, guiding dogs. Next, Nelson, you're so quiet. The policeman, policeman. Mm -hmm. Corsa. Mm -hmm. him, him. Mm -hmm. Him uh, to light. You got it. Simple as that. That's right. Okay, so the policeman forced him to lie. Simple. Next. My mom always reminds me. I'm and uh, not to be late exactly my mom always reminds me not to be late for school and the last one 
Warner, the traffic Warner, Warner as no, not to park on double yellow line. On double, double yellow lines, double yellow lines. Very good. So as simple as that. Now, instead of the object pronouns, you can use something else. Okay. Um, I had an example in my head and I lost it. Hold on, I'm looking for it. I'll send you this meanwhile. So you can have it handy. Bien, lo que les causó problema ahorita fue que no había explicado un poco esto. Right? Es ese uso de not to. Not to. O sea, cuando hay una negativa, ¿cómo agrego el infinitivo después del verbo? Si quiero decir, mi papá me enseñó a no decir mentiras. Mi papá me enseñó a no decir mentiras. My father teach me not to lie. ¿Me enseñó? Not, not to oh, teach me. Teach me. Taught. Taught. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. My father taught me. My father taught me not to tell lies. Exactly. My father taught me not to tell lies. Okay. Yo no le dije que fuera allí. Yo no le dije. I didn't tell no, him. I, I didn't, didn't tell, tell him. Tell uh, her or him, him mm -hmm. not to be there. Not to? Not to be. Not to walk. There. Not to no ir. Ahí. Not to go. In. Not to go. Not to, to go. go there. There. I didn't tell her not to go there. Man, I didn't tell her not to go there. And I didn't tell him not to go there. Okay. Yo no le pedí que saliera conmigo. Yo no le pedí que saliera conmigo. A ver cómo decís pedir y salir. Yo no le pedí que saliera conmigo. Ustedes a la que viendo, yo no tenía ni pisto, pero pues iba. Yo no le pedí que viniera conmigo, que saliera conmigo. Ajá. A la Patricia está pensando mucho. Ajá, ajá. Yo no le pedí que saliera conmigo. Y ayer se, ayer se lo estaba diciendo, dice. Ajá. Yo no le pedí que saliera conmigo. Ajá. I didn't ask. Bien, Carla. Ajá. I didn't ask her. Uh -huh. Ask her. I didn't ask her to go. To go. To go with me. Ay, ahí falta algo después del go. I didn't ask go her. Out. To go out. When? When? Me. When? Exactly. When. I didn't ask her to go out with me. Oh, man, I didn't ask her to go out with me. She wanted to come, but I had no money. Good. Bien. Así como acabo de hacer... Es de, de practicar, o sea, acuérdense que todavía, ¿no? La creatividad se nos viene más en español, pues aprovechémoslo, pasémoslo en inglés de una sola vez y les invito como siempre a hacer ese ejercicio de, de pensar, o sea, de, de suena raro, ¿verdad? Hagan el ejercicio de pensar, pero sí, sean creativos, vuélvanse creativos y van a ver que lo que les falta de inglés poco a poco va a ir brotando, uh, créanme créanme que su cerebro es muy poderoso y, y pues aunque ustedes ni cuenta se den 
él sí ha estado poniendo atención a muchas cosas, no solo el día de hoy, me refiero a todo el curso que llevan ya, su cerebro es muy poderoso y, y pues así como uno mira por la vista periférica otras cosas, así el cerebro guarda la información. ¿Por qué? Porque el consciente solo guarda lo poco que guarda, tenemos de información y lo tiene siempre disponible para nosotros, pero el inconsciente se aburre se aburre de estar viendo el teacher ahí, no, el inconsciente está poniendo atención a otras cosas y nos distrae, y al distraernos también está guardando otra información, y me estingo un poco sobre eso, es bien interesante, entonces encuentren la manera, yo les aseguro que si ustedes tienen, por ejemplo, un espacio específico donde recibir su clase, y tienen una pared enfrente de ustedes, y la llenan de palabras con colores altisonantes, no, colores llamativos, con colores llamativos, muchos verbos, muchas palabras, yo les aseguro que su cerebro se la va a grabar y en cuenta, se va a dar. En cada clase estar viendo la pantalla y con la vista periférica estar viendo eso. Ahora pongamos una foto de... cuando éramos delgaditos. <risa> más, o menos, más o menos funciona. Today, today I was working teacher and mm -hmm. in a moment I goes, comes to my mind unethical behaviors. <risa> Imagine. Oh my God, Roselena. Yeah. Se fue por la no, tangente con la I, clase. I was yeah, I was remember the, the topics. A ver qué estaba haciendo. Ok. <risa> Good guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, o oh, esta noche me quedo con de mi, sí, a nacer mi novino, ¿verdad? No vino a nacer mi, ok. Edwin Alexander, ahí era so. Yay. Well, no, okay. he, has to, he has to disconnect. Uh, oh, yeah. Great. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. She had to leave too. Wait. I stood with Adriana last night. Ana Selmi. Edwin is not here. Gabriela is not here too. Gloria, no sé si tiene tiempo. Creo que está trabajando, Glorita. Okay, teacher. Okay, just 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm staying with Gloria, Ada Patricia, Linares Galdames. Good, Good night. night. Adrián Estefani Martínez Flores, Ana Selmi Chévez, Edwin Alexander Ayalerazo, Gabriela Bye. Alejandra González Flores. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, teacher. Kenia Michelle Arasayas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Okay. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, good night. Good night, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good night, buddy. See you tomorrow, bye. bye. Good night, good night. Uh, hello, hello, Glorita. ¿cómo hello, estamos? teacher. <laughs> Uh, How are you tonight? Um, um, tired? Very, very, uh, um, tired? Very tired. tired? Yes. I, I have it in... You have a headache. I have a headache. Repeat, headache. 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 Acá. Headache. Headache. Ahí. Headache. Really? Ok. Yeah. Sí, está, estaba trabajando, ¿verdad? Mientras que estaba en la clase. Me tocó sí, trabajar. Sí, mire. Este ciclo, has, esta, este módulo ha sido fatal. He tenido sí. reuniones eh, en medio de las clases y lo siento, de verdad. Ay, so... No, no se preocupe. Así toca. Usted lo bueno nos que regañó se un día. 
usted nos regañó un día y me dijo, hoy lo voy a regañar. Y regañó a mi hermana y mi hermana siempre está. ¿En serio? Ya sí. es la edad, ya es la edad, disculpe. Es cierto, Peter. Sorry, lo siento, Ada. No, pero Ada sabe que no me no. No, estoy, estoy loquito, eso sí. Ahí um, hay que hacer lo que se pueda. Y eso es lo que alguien más me decía, que, que le cuesta conectarse. Y en su caso es porque el internet donde vive, de milagro, ahí me dice porque se roban el cable. O sea, la señal casi no llega. Y me dice, mire, disculpe. Y dice, no, hay que hacer lo que se pueda. O sea, cuando hay internet, yo me conozco, me conecto, me dice. Yo soy la vecina, me dice que, que pongo el dedo cuando se han robado el cable para que, pues sí, poder tener internet de mi casa. Sí. Es, es, y de eso, si no, pero igual, cada quien hace lo que puede. Y yo les decía también en cierta ocasión, yo lo comprendo si es que el trabajo no se termina. Y si no es del trabajo, trabajo, es del trabajo de la casa, ¿no? Descansado. Eh. Bueno, ya vamos para casi dos años en esto. Ya casi. Y descansado, pero eh, ahí va. va. Ya se acostumbró. Ya en dos ya. años, ya se hizo un hábito después, cuando termine el modo, lo, termine ah, el curso. Falta, falta. Va a decir, ¿y ahora qué hacemos? <risa> <risa> ok. Así es. So, tell me. Pero, How's your daughter? Ah, my daughter <laughs> um, is very, very uh, pretty, <laughs> pretty. And no, but how I, is she doing? She was studying English, right? She was studying uh, English. Ah, uh, she, she was studying English. No, she is. Um, como le digo? Is she is bilingual? She's bilingual. bilingual. Full bilingual. Bilingual. Full bilingual. Yes. Oh, okay. Practice um, Portuguese. Yes. Wait. So she can speak three languages: English, no? English, yes. Full. Okay. Uh, Portuguese and, and Spanish. Middle, middle from... French. French, French, middle. French. Okay, so it's four languages: Spanish, French, English, French. and Portuguese. And Portuguese. Yes. Oh my God, I'm, I I envy her. That's awesome. It's it, um it for for he for him. ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, es por ella misma. He oh, is by herself. For him, uh, yes. She's a self learner. Yes. Wow. Sabe que siempre me quise proponer a prueba con eso, Gloria. Ajá. Porque yo dije, bueno, si aprendí yo solo inglés, ¿por qué no aprendí otro, otro idioma? Pero en mi caso yo definí que, o sea, porque intenté aprender alemán un poco. Fue muy poco lo que adquirí. Pero porque intenté aplicarlo, lo mismo que hice con el inglés, intentarlo aplicar con otro idioma, el alemán. Um, y descubrí que no me gustó. Y así no, o sea, es como que se trae el gusto por algo. O sea, su hija quizás supo elegir, no sé, algo. Hay que encontrar como algo que le llame la atención a uno de ese idioma, no sé, en, en mi experiencia. Ella, yeah, she, she is, um, licenciatura en periodismo, ¿cómo se diría? She started um, to become a reporter. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think for for this this uh, profession professional. Mm -hmm. Journalism. Journalism. No. Bueno, hace años mm -hmm. aprendimos un par de palabras en mandarín y ella emocionada, emocionada. Okay. <laughs> de, de, cuando la niña estaba pequeña mirábamos, el niño estaba pequeño mirábamos Mi Hao Kailan. Y se le quedó. Ni Men Hao. Ni Men Hao. Ni Men Hao. Eso, eso se nos quedó. <risa> Graciosamente, <risa> este, me preguntaban en, 
en mandarín cuando uh -huh. ¿cómo es? mi fecha de nacimiento uh -huh. y, y yo le respondí en inglés y ella me hace oh, it's, mandar es mandarín, me dice. it's mandarín I think. it's mandarín esa es otra cosa que se trae para identificar los idiomas para eso sí soy bueno, eso sí me gusta es bien interesante cuando, cuando vemos una película y de repente algún extranjero habla, ¿no? Y, y me dice, ¿cómo identificas? Ni idea. No sé, eso sí me gustaría investigarlo un poco, fíjese. ¿Por qué traemos para eso y no para aprender? No sé, ¿cómo que? Sí. Bien, triste. Ahora bien, hay países, claro, donde sí. Si uno vive en Rusia, o sea, tiene que aprender otros dos o tres idiomas, definitivamente forzosamente aquí como hemos aprendido el pues iba de los chapelos de San yo, Vicente ¿cómo es? San yo siempre a mí siempre me ha gustado pero nunca lo he aprendido uh -huh. pero mis hijos sí porque porque no sé porque les gusta eh, mi hijo va para Japón en un par de en unos días y me dio habla japonés es full bilingüe. Full, full, full bilingüe. Sí, full bilingüe. Y le gustan las series japonesas. Ah, mucho. <ríe> Por ahí anda la cosa. Porque sí he tenido varios amigos que tanto ver anime, tanto ver cosas así. Hay gente que aprende inglés viendo, jugando videojuegos. Sí. También. So, es de encontrarle. Espero que se recupere pronto ese dolorcito de cabeza, ánimo. Claro. Ya va a terminar el año. Viene lo peor para usted. Totalmente. Yo lo sé. Yo lo sé, pero sí, piensa en lo positivo, sí. mejor ya casi viene, ya viene el aguinaldo. Ay, ya se gastó. ¿En serio? <risa> ya lo están esperando, dice, pero no yo. Eh, el vehículo se me ha dañado, entonces ahí estoy. ¿En serio? Ahí estoy. Ay, no. Bueno, Dios pero... sabe por qué permite las cosas también, ¿verdad? ¿Y usted se va para cantar? No, fíjese que ya no salió el proyecto. Después me dijeron, pero ah, igual no. yo no estaba, yo no estaba como que voy a ir, voy a ir. No, no, gracias a Dios no me metí en eso, porque hay gente que hace planes y se mete en gastos innecesarios que al final, vea, por ejemplo, tenía que comprar por unos tres trajes sí. y 150 dólares cada traje. No, 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 no. O sea, mejor <risa> me, me esperé y gracias a Dios tú, mi, mi esposa me dice, no, tener paciencia. Ya. Si te dicen que sí, pues vea, pero Dios sabe lo que hace realmente. Gracias. Siente que bueno, la ciencia. ¿Lo vamos a tener en el próximo módulo? Ni idea. <ríe> es del otro año. <ríe> okay. ok, good night, Glorita. Good night, buen... chao, chao. Hasta luego.